Solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable, variables on both sides, and two distributions. So I have an equation here I'm asked to solve for x. So I'm going to rewrite my equation over here. So I have negative 2 times the quantity 9x minus 8 plus 7x equals 4 times the quantity x plus 7. Okay, so I've rewritten it to the side there just to give myself little working space. Um, here's my equals separating right side and left side. I have no fractions here that I need to deal with or try to clear before I start. So my next step is going to be to work the right and left sides individually and try to simplify. So looking just at the left side, the first thing I want to do here is distribute or multiply that negative 2 across the parentheses. So negative 2 times 9x is negative 18x. Negative 2 times negative 8 is positive 16. And then I also have this plus 7x on the left side. Now I'm looking for like terms that I can combine. And I notice I have two x terms, negative 18x and 7x. So I'm going to combine these two like terms, negative 18 plus 7 gives me negative 11x. And then I still have my constant term, the plus 16. So I've distributed, I've combined like terms. Um, I can't go any further simplifying this side right now. Uh, the, this is a variable term, this is a constant term, they are not like terms, so I have to just leave it for now. So moving over to the right side, I'm going to do the same thing, distribute. So 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 7 is 28. Those are not like terms, I can't combine anything there, so I'm just going to bring down both terms, the 4x and the 28. So now I have a variable term on each side of the equals and a constant term on each side of the equals. I want variable terms on one side, constant terms on the other. So I'm going to zero out or get rid of this 4x by using the inverse operation, subtract 4x or add a negative 4x. And then I need to keep my equation balanced by doing the same thing on the other side. So I'll eliminate the variable term on the right, and negative 11x minus another 4x will simplify to negative 15x on the left, plus 16, and on the right, I only have 28 now. So now I'm going to do the same thing here. I only want constants on the right, so I need to eliminate this one or zero it out. So the inverse operation is negative 16, and then I need to keep my equation balanced by doing the same thing on the right. So I'm zeroing out the constant term on the left, getting rid of it, and then balancing by doing the same operation on the right. And then after I simplify, I have negative 15x left on the, or remaining on the left side. And 28 minus 16 is going to leave me 12 on the right side. So the last thing, last step is now to just divide out my coefficient, the negative 15x here. So I'm going to divide that out on the left and then keep my equation balanced by dividing by negative 15 on the right. After simplifying, I have x equals, and 12 divided by negative 15 will reduce or simplify to negative 4 fifths as a solution. So x equals negative 4 fifths is the solution to this equation.